Welcome to Kendra's Artistic Crochet Designs. And today is Tutorial Monday, and we are going to the next step in our strawberry sweater. So, um, we're going to finish up that sweater today, by the way. I'm, I want to uh, kind of show you that this is what... Um, we we left off with putting double crochets around around the uh, panels and you should have three you should have a back panel and two front panels like this okay so there's a border we're putting around these panel panels and what I'm gonna do is teach you how to do this border um, so I already have my back panel and one of my my uh, side panels done, front panel done. There it is. And let's get started. So we're going to go with the... I am doing the light... The light pink which is this color pink first but I've got it tied on so I don't have to worry about uh, ends too many ends all right nope let me get to the point here hang on here we go I need to finish off this row so two double crochets in there and then I'm gonna finish this off with a half double crochet this corner like I normally do all right so um, so I've got the pink and what we're going to do is we're going to in this corner we are going to put uh, a two single crochets in that corner and then we're going to chain one So we're going to chain one, and you're going to skip this first double crochet right here and go to the next one and put a single crochet in it. You're going to chain one, skip the next double crochet, put a single crochet in the next one. Chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next one. Chain one, skip one, put a single crochet in the next one. And you're going to keep doing that until you get all the way down to the corner and we should be um, leaving off with a uh, a chain one before you start that corner so I'm just going to be doing this with you guys so Chaining one, skipping one, putting a single crochet in the next one. All right. All right. So this last one you're going to skip, and we're chaining one, and we're going to skip that last one. And I'm going to put two single crochets in that corner, and then I'm going to chain two and put two more single crochets in that corner. And then I'm going to chain one. And right off the bat, we're going to skip the first stitch. So you're going to skip this first stitch and put a single crochet in the second. Chain one. And so on. Put a single crochet. Skip one. Put a single crochet in the next one. Chain one. Skip one. Put a single crochet in the next one. We're going to go all the way down the panel. We're going to go all the way around it like that. And remember, we're going to do two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets in the corners. I ended up having to put a border around um, around the panels because 
the panels wasn't um, big enough. I needed um, that back panel. I needed to be 18 and a half inches, and I think it was only 17 inches by the time we had it. So this is this is what I'm just doing, just putting a border around there so that we get the sweater big enough. But if your sweater is big enough already, you don't have to do this. Put this border on it. Uh, sometimes we just have to improvise as we go. This is my own pattern, and I am making this up as I go anyway. All right, so we're skipping one. There we go. Nothing like designing on the fly. I think it's pretty though. It's turning out really pretty, and and uh, the girl that I'm making this for, she really likes it. So I'm glad that she's happy. Everybody else is telling me how pretty this is turning out to be. So. We're almost at the other corner. Put my glasses on. Yeah, there, I could see that much better now. And so it should work out that you're going to skip this last stitch and then we're going to put two single crochets in the corner, chain two, and two single crochets. And then we're going to skip this first stitch and go into the second, chain one from there, skip the first stitch, go in the second, and then chain one, skip the next stitch, go into the next putting a single crochet in every other stitch. There goes my uh, bird clock. <laughs> Okay, so if, it, see, I, I uh, go with the mentality, because I had to go in that last stitch, um, you're going to chain one from here, and then you're going to go in um, and do your two double, two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. So, you, we, uh, you know, you, we're going to make it happen, in other words. 
we're going to make this pattern work out. So chain one, skip the first one, go in the second one, and go down the next side. This is the last side that we're going down. And you'll do this on all three panels. Alright, so we are skipping that last one, and then I'm putting two single crochets in that corner. Remember, we started out that corner with two single crochets, so I'm ending it with two, and then I'm going to um, put a half double crochet in there to finish out that corner. Alright, so now I'm going to switch colors. I'm switching to this pink, but I'm going to tie these together so I don't have to 
with the magic knot so I don't have to be tying in ends too many ends so we'll tie it like that and then this one goes over this way tie it on to the other one and then we're going to bring them together I think I've taught you this technique before but just in case this is the first time you're watching one of my videos that's how the magic knot works so that you know it will not the magic knot does not come out all right so let's put this back in now that we got our magic knot in and then you're going to chain one and you're going to put two um, single crochets in this corner and then um, we're going to chain one and you're going to skip the first one you're skipping the first one go into the second one and put a single crochet wait a minute that ain't right we're not chaining one from there sorry you're going to put a single crochet in the first one <laughs> skip the second one because you're going to chain one after that and in these one spaces these chain one spaces you are putting the single crochets so we're skipping the next single crochet and in the chain one space we're going to put a single crochet So chain one, and we're going to do that all the way down. Chain one, skip the next single crochet, put a single crochet in the chain one space. Skip the next, all the way down. And in the corners, we are still doing... are um we're still doing the two single crochet chain two single crochet in the corners all right so we're going to skip this one, put a single crochet in this one, and then we're going to put two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet in the corner. And then we're going to put a single crochet in the first one, chain one, and skip the next one. And in the chain one space, we're putting a single crochet. So we're skipping the single crochets and putting single crochet in the chain one spaces all the way down
I think this is called a mock stitch. I just I just love the effect of it. Skipping this one, go in the last stitch, and then we're going to put two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochet in that corner. Put a single crochet in the first one, skip the second one, and then put a single crochet in the chain one space. I got my trusty yarn bowl here. corner here, chain two, two more single crochets in that corner, single crochet in the first stitch after the corner, chain one, skip the second one and go right into the chain one space. Chain one and put single crochets in the chain one spaces all the way down.
right. We're finishing up another row round, so I'm going to cut this color off and change it again. All right. So now we're going to put red on there. I'm putting red on. In order for this moss stitch to work out right, you do have to change colors. You can't just, it won't look right if you don't change your colors. that one off. All right. So let me finish up. Yeah, I did that right. Okay. All right. So we are going to, um, with a new color, we're going to put two single crochets in this corner like we always do. All right. And we are going to chain one, skip the first one, go into the second one, and then chain one, skip the third one, and then go into your chain one space. So from here, we're going to chain one and put single crochets and chain one spaces. So each row is a little bit different at the corners of this moss stitch. To get the pattern to look to work out right. All right. So we'll skip the the next stitch. Single crochet in the second, chain one, skip that last stitch. And then we're going to put two single crochets in that corner, chain two, and two single crochets to finish off the corner. And then we are going to chain one, skip the first stitch, and sometimes the stitches gets underneath the, the stitches. So you want to make sure that this stitch did, doesn't do that. Sometimes it does. So we're going to skip this stitch. And put a single crochet in the second stitch, chain one, skip the third stitch, and then we're going to put a single crochet in that chain one space. And then from here, you're just going to uh, chain one, chain one, put a single crochet in all the chain one spaces. But you need a chain one in between, just like we did the last one. Just like we did the last row, same thing. We're going to chain one in between and putting single crochets in these chain one spaces. And just look at that. You see the light? 
and then the medium and then the dark see how that I just love that I just love that look You just got to remember to do your chain one spaces in between your stitches. 